thank you, ladies and gentlemen, once again for another edition of Digital Soul Presents. I have a gentleman on the show today who is uh, multi-talented. I had the pleasure of meeting him about a month and a half ago at, at a show, and uh, we had a chance to, to talk a little bit uh, about what he's doing and what he's up to. And uh, I said, man, we, we got to talk. He said, yeah, we got to talk. So we are here to talk. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I want to introduce his brother, multi-talented singer, uh, bass player, uh, touring all around the world with the magical uh, music of Motown right now, which is just amazing. Uh, the clips that I've seen, we're going to talk about that and his new single, Mr. Frank Graves is in the building. How you doing, Frank? Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate um, it. How you doing yeah. today? I'm just uh, excited to talk to you, man. I mean, uh, after meeting you down in Pasadena, uh, that was a blessing, bro. And uh, I uh, uh, really is just a joy to be able to like have that conversation with you and then like sit down and actually uh, for this to be happening right now, uh, all I can do is give uh, give you thanks and appreciate that, that you're taking the time to even talk to me. Absolutely, my brother. And thank you for being on the show. And, and, and uh, I'm not the only one. You just... Uh... You actually hit me to an article that you just had in Hollywood Weekly as well. Uh, <laughs> we want to we want to congratulate you on that. Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> I had a chance to uh, see that article. Talk talk a little bit about when you got the news to, for that article. That that that's amazing. Yeah, you know that um, before that article came, uh, I was actually introduced to them to Hollywood Magazine mm -hmm. by uh, Wanda Willis, you know, the actor, and. Uh, Wanda and I had uh, done some judging on uh, what we call the raw talent shows, younger people. And I met her and I uh, got to liking her, you know, and then uh, she invited me down to like a birthday party. And I went down and I got a chance to meet some other people who were uh, coming up in the industry, you know, taking movies or doing interviews. Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically after that, you know, then I got a message from her uh, one day and said, hey, I uh, uh, got this article, this this company, Hollywood Magazine, wants to talk to you. And I said, oh, yeah, right. You know, <laughs> like anything else, you know how the business is, man. Yeah. So I said, OK, but they did. And they called me and uh, Pretha Jackson, uh, the uh, CEO, uh, uh, called me and uh, we talked for a while. And he said, hey, I'm interested in your whole background. What have you been doing? who you've been around or what's been going on. And I told him, I said, hey, man, this is a business world. I mean, this music world is huge. Mm. And so I told him, I, you know, I've been I've been at it for some time now, probably about probably about 40 years or a little bit better. You know, uh, it's 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 uh, it's it's something else. You know, you got to You got to have family and friends and acquaintance and and if you don't have that, <laughs> it, it's, yeah, yeah, you really do. Yeah. And uh, but one of the things I learned was to just be myself uh, and to remain uh, that way, you know, regardless of what goes down, what happens and to uh, keep on um, working on the gifts and talents or the gifts that you have been given. And that is the main thing that I, you know, that I've worked with. And that's where all of this came from. Yeah. Where, where are you originally from, Frank? Uh, from Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. You talk yeah. a little bit about growing up in Kentucky. Is that where you actually figured out that you were musically inclined or got into music back in Kentucky? Yeah, actually, I was um, one of the little lead singers in the uh, choir for the young, uh, for the youth. Okay. And uh, then I did, um, in high school, you know, we had those talent shows for, you know, that you used to have in high school, things that you used to do. And um, uh, I just kind of like continued from there, but it didn't really happen until after I uh, uh, graduated and I went to the military and I didn't really know what was going on pretty much after I come out of the military. Uh, and when I got back, uh, a friend of mine, we was in high school together. And uh, as a matter of fact, he was one of the uh, lead trumpet for uh, Ohio players. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so his name was Dwayne. He died a little young, you know. And um, but Dwayne said, hey, you still playing your I was initially playing brass trombone. Okay. 
And so, man, we had the, one of the hottest marching bands in the in the in the in Lexington, man, in the state, as a matter of fact. Kind of wow. like Grambling, you know, we was coming off the style of Grambling and and then Kentucky State University, and matter of fact, all of the universities, but Grambling and Florida A and M, man, that's that was that that was it. That was it. You know, high step, get it on back. You know, Dunbar Barricades, they called us. Yeah, you know, green and white, man. We had a band that wouldn't quit, and <laughs> uh, but uh, I was playing a trombone at the time, and so he asked me to come down and audition for his band, which called uh, the group was called Dynamic Soul Seven. They was out of a little city called um, uh, Richmond, Kentucky, and so I did. I went down and auditioned with him, and. Um, he kind of like hit it off immediately, man. We was we was kind of like Tower Power, bro. You yeah. know, we had a bad horn section, and it was just kind of like that's where it started, and that's where it just kind of kept on blooming from, you know. And I'm I'm happy, real happy, you know. I, I, when I was reading that article, I saw a mention of that Dynamic Soul Seven. One of the first things that that entered my mind. I, I've always been fascinated with like seventies groups with the with those kind of names the, the dynamic superiors or the intruders you know they're just really dramatic you know so when <laughs> i saw that, that that group name i was like they gotta have some recorders because if they do i'm fine <laughs> and so, so my question is is there existing recordings of any of those uh songs no you know because we didn't have um believe it or not we didn't have the connections that uh, mm. The guys like out of Ohio, like Ohio players, gotcha. uh, with Doug Moody and all those people, uh, we didn't even know what the good business management was. You know, we just yeah. had a guy that, you know, that did it for us. And by us being down in uh, Kentucky, you know, we weren't what you call right in the uh, general area like Ohio, uh, Tennessee, uh, all those those individuals like always talking to each other. You know, and and so that's where like. Um, Otis Redding, Al Green, uh, the Bar Case, uh, you know, it's kind of like that's that's the way it was, you know. Yeah. The people that I was craving or was trying to emulate or be like at the time, Sam and Dave, uh, of course, Al Green, Teddy Pendergrass was there. Uh, I even got to the point I used to have a real high voice, and I was always uh, doing like Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle. Uh, because those were just awesome singers at the time, man. Gladys Knight was out, you know, and um, it was like, that's that's the way it was, you know. One or two of the guys, believe it or not, uh, one of our lead singers uh, got picked up by Motank, uh, but he uh, uh, he quit before, I guess, they got started or whatever the case, but uh, uh, he was really, really, like, nice, you know. Yeah. And we just... Yeah, we were supportive of them, you know, and told them, you know, if that's what you feel and you need to go mm. uh, there, it wasn't like everybody mad at somebody about making it because we all wanted to be mu musicians. But um, I was taught to have a job first. <laughs> that music was not that that breadwinner, you know, and it was like, and, and that's what I done, you know, I took on my job. And after that, it was like, job first man everybody else you know the music comes next you know and even though it was a love and a strong love it was like uh because that's where i started doing all of my gospel and everything else that followed you know when you mentioned you know some some uh some influences a little bit earlier um you said you mentioned the gladys knight and you, yeah. mentioned, you know sam and dave and some of those other artists who were like your real like your favorite or your go-to like all even still like even back then and then even now to this day like do you have a top three or a top couple that you always really really love yeah um if i look at the ones that i was really around you know as often or just listen to as, as much probably like gladys knight right it's most of that raspy a nice voice i mean the the pips kind of like gave it the nice background but gladys got a voice man that's i don't know it's it's got that feel you know uh a rest of them could do like the high notes that was fine i mean they could sing mm -hmm. but but i was looking and then um in terms of male singers al green 
to me was like uh, the nice one. Oldest Redding uh, was a little raspy, a little pushy. Uh, I guess, you know, when you're looking at artists and you're trying to find your way, Teddy Pendergrass was nice with the, with the blue notes. And uh, obviously when he broke away, like a lot of the other singers, you know, it's kind of like Teddy really turned out to be like, you know, really nice, man. And um, so I, I still listen to a lot of those. Man, I have a whole... Uh, a whole uh, pack of the uh, 78s. Yeah. <laughs> I got, bro, I got, <laughs> I got a whole bunch of them, you know. And uh, I got, uh, you know, and even GQ when they came along. Yeah. GQ, yeah, GQ, GQ. Was, yeah. yeah GQ was nice. Uh, the Fifth Dimension, mm -hmm. you know, Fifth Dimension was a um, different style when it, you know. Oh, yeah. Was, Their harmony and, was insane. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. know, and so because I was doing uh, in the church doing gospel, um, my thing was always harmony, good, solid harmony. And you just don't have good, solid harmony. Right, you know? right. Everybody wants to be a single star. And I'm still into that harmony, man. I'm still into uh, having that good quality group but everybody's fighting to be number one. And I'm I'm not into that. I'm, yeah. I just want to get on stage and have a good time. And then I want the people that I'm around have a good time. And so I don't have to hog the stage. I'm willing to share, you know. And But I used to have a lot of people ask me about, uh, aren't you afraid that somebody would like come on stage and steal it? And I says, no, because whatever I got, I'm going to present. And whatever they got, let them present. I can't do nothing about the crowd. Yeah. All I can do is put the show now. If that person got over and they wanted them back, as long as I got paid for that evening, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I Spoken like a true performer, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I don't care. You know, like you got your stuff. And you and yeah. if you want to walk off stage and say, man, I blowed him or I did this, I did it. Well, that's all right, but I got that check in the bank. Yeah, you came to do a job and you did it. <laughs> I came to do a job, yeah. and that's what it is, because those individuals who came to see me, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I was trying to present something for them. Absolutely. I'm still old, I'm still old school, and I'm going to stay old school, you know, right up until it ain't no more, man. <laughs> you know, because uh, I don't know, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is right now, you know. I heard that, I heard that. Now, I know uh, you mentioned all those artists too as well and 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 and, and listening to all of that combination like you mentioned Otis Redding and mm -hmm. all those guys uh, I had the chance and the opportunity to check out some clips on YouTube of the magical music of Motown uh, which you're in and uh, I have to ask man uh, you, you, you emulate a lot of different people and, and I'm mad at myself uh, at this play because I have not gone to see this sooner. <laughs> so, so Frank, you have my word on camera that because I because I actually after I looked at the clips, I went to the schedule and I saw that you guys have some dates coming up this year. So I will be getting tickets and checking out the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have to see this show because you did. I mean, you did some Marvin, some I mean, some Smokey. I mean, and you just effortlessly, effortlessly just flow into these songs. And um, it's it's magical. It is magical how how, how you how you sing through these songs of, of, of Motown. Uh, talk talk a little bit about getting into this uh, this this uh, program here. Well, let me let me go to the backside and I want, then I want to come to the front uh, after. Okay. Um, the new Mo, uh, Motown, this new group coming up, is a new group. the The uh, original manager or or they call the organization of it. Uh, he had a uh, triple bypass. Mm. And so I don't know what is the condition of uh, that going on. Okay. And they, and they decided to, to make some changes. Okay. And that was one of the changes that they wanted to make. And I don't know what other changes, you know, they decided to make after that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I was asked, was I angry about it? And I told him, no. That that's the nature of the business. Mm -hmm. 
I'm I'm not one of those individuals that hold on to changes. Mm. If there's a change to be made, I know what I I did. I know how I perform, and I know what I'm like on stage. And the people who came to support me or and the group, well, basically I had a lot of good following, and uh, and I still have a good base. Yeah. My thing was, uh, uh, if I told them where I was going to be at, they were there, you yeah. know, to support. Uh, I had people coming in because I'm part of the uh, uh, Highway Patrol as a volunteer. Uh, people would come in from that. People come in from uh, my movie sets because I'm an actor as well. Yeah. I do acting. And uh, so it's kind of like I'm, and I call those individuals to wish them all the best because. That's the way it should be. Mm. You know, that's the way I look at it. Uh, if you don't mind, like Miss Kathy Merritt, who was the lead singer who did uh, uh, If I Could Build My Whole World Around You, that young lady is awesome. Uh, Skyler, the other young lady that's uh, sung um, Heard It Through the Grapevine, and of course, Master, uh, who's the other lead singer, ma male singer on stage. Together as a group or a unit, I just felt like our uh, harmony was getting better. But uh, what we have, what we think, is not always what other people think. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was kind of like, okay, uh, this is the way it is. And I talk to them now. As a matter of fact, I'm going down uh, uh, this, this weekend, oh. uh, Sunday, to support uh, Honeycomb because they are part of Honeycomb. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so Kathy, uh, Miss uh, Shaley Clark, and uh, uh, Wendy, love them. I mean, I I love them because they they have sustained, and they are just got a lot of energy, and so it's kind of like, uh, so I'm sorry you're going to miss me now, but until <laughs> I do more, but it's not over, you know. Yeah, because, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. It's it's not over because. Uh, there are a lot of things I, I just feel like are coming down the road uh, and I got a lot of things going or in put, you know, that I'm hoping that uh, all, I'm pretty much praying that if I continue to do the right things, uh, that it'll come, you know. And by me being down, by the way, by being down at the club with you just to get past a little few things, down, been down in Pasadena, it was just such a nice, pleasant thing to meet Ole, uh, Ole Nero, the bass player. Yeah, yeah. Brother is, you know, you find a lot of musicians don't want to talk or or not having any laughter. Yeah. Uh, but these brothers, uh, uh, Tate Sims, Victor Orlando, Victor played with me on, on, on one of my shows. Yeah. Uh, normally I carry like an eight-piece band and uh, I've got some of the, bro, I've got some of the best players in my career here uh, that I've been around, man, I've had uh, Ron Roseberry, formerly of uh, of uh, Rose Royce. Um, I got uh, James Loon, who's the lead guitar player for uh, James Ingram, uh, Ronnie Kaufman, Gap Band, uh, Richard Turney, 88 Keys, they call him the Prodigy, uh, with Eric Barris, uh, of course, Victor. Uh, it, I could just go on and on with the people that I've been on stage with, yeah. who's, been in the, who's been in the band with me or played with me mm -hmm. on stage. And uh, that's, to me, uh, I had a lot of people ask me, how, how, do you get, how do you get these guys to play with you? And I said, well, first of all, it's called money. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to pay the musicians. But I'm, I'm willing to do that because, I, because playing in a band, I realized... You know, as an artist, that those are the individuals that actually make you. They really do, and so um, I, I, the ones, the artists that actually pay their musicians, I applaud them. For the ones that don't, they need to recognize the fact that these guys make them. If they're number one, so if you got an artist that's number one on the charts, they ought to be super happy. Because they didn't get the number one without any help. Right. None of them. No Michael Jackson. No, 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 no Prince. 
you know, I could just keep going, but they didn't get there without all of these other musicians. And, and, and that was one of the main things that I learned uh, as I played uh, on the road that I told myself that whenever I perform, I'm going to make sure that they get good dollars because I've been blessed. And I know I keep saying that, but it's true. I've been blessed. And so when, when you get that, people can call you arrogant. They can say, oh, you just arrogant. Well, I'm going to remain arrogant mm -hmm. because my thing is that I'm, 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 I'm good at what I do. And I just, I just believe that if I go on stage and you give me a song, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to give it the best because that's the way it should be. You know, that's the way it should be. So that's what that Motown stuff. And I, and I just talked to him, like I said, one or two of my singles, you know, this, this week. And then uh, when I see him this weekend, I'm just going to support him just like as if we've been together forever, man. You know, very, uh, in case a lot of people don't know, I, I'm going to throw a little tidbit out there for some of these musicians. A lot of people probably don't know that Verdine White with her winning fire, that's a beautiful girl. And I mean, I don't know all of his life, but I'm talking in ter terms of conversation. That brother is nice. Shaylee Clark for the Honeycomb, totally awesome. Uh, I went to a red carpet thing down in LA. Uh, we had a ball. She just sat down, we talked. She didn't even know me, but we know each other now. Yeah. And, and, and uh, they know that I'm going to be there. When I tell them I'm going to be there to support, I'm there to support. Yeah. You know, you don't have to call me on stage. You don't have to like say, and you don't even have to recognize me. You know, you don't. I, I, I don't need I don't need you for you to stand up and say, no, you, we, we got Frank in the audience, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, that's your show. That's your thing. If you decide that you want to do that, don't get me wrong. I'm ready to perform and I'm ready to like give them because you believe in me. Right. And and, and because you believe in me, I'm, I'm going to do that, you know, and that's, yeah. that's, you know, and that's why it was so such a pleasure pleasure in talking to you, you know, um, this, I didn't see this coming liberal. I didn't see this coming at all. <laughs> but as we talk and as we speak right now, I'm, I'm, I'm giving all the blessings and thanks to God yeah. that you, that you taking your time out to, to do this with me this evening. Thank Absolutely. You. No problem. No thanks needed, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. And and it doesn't stop stop there because not only uh, you know, we talked about the Motown thing, you know, we got that squared away, but there's something that you got going on right now that's pretty hot too. A, a single that's called See About Me. Yeah. Yeah, man. We, we, we talk a little bit about that new single. That came, I was um I was um just driving. I had gone down to LA. I was going down in the district to uh, get me a, a new suit for a show. And uh, uh, the the suit I was getting was for a song called uh, Healing, uh, talking about how to, if I fall, uh, if I falter, to ask my woman to forgive me, you know, just heal, uh, because none of us are perfect. Uh, just do that. But in the process, as I was driving down there uh, in the district, um, I saw all of these homeless. I've seen people on side road before. I've seen, um, but going, trying to associate that even to like when I came out of Kentucky, out of Lexington, it was nothing like this. Mm. I, I, and and to 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 realize that. You have um, a place to sleep. Uh, you have um, that you had employment, that you had the things that we take for granted. Right. And I'm not saying that, uh, because there's a lot of people on the street that I don't think a lot of people really can understand what happened. So we don't know their background. A lot of them are doctors. A lot of them are just everyday working people. 
a lot of them, a lot of them got hurt in accidents. You know, I I worked um, I worked with the, an insane Salen uh, uh, hospital, and a lot of the people in there got got hurt in a, in an automobile accident, mm. took the brain. Uh, so those individuals that are out there, there is probably a lot of things that that are socially wrong or mentally wrong that we just don't have any clues. So we look at them and we look down. Yeah. And my thing was, no. And the more I look at it, I realize that could be me. That's where I see about me came from. And as a matter of fact, on, on that, um, on see about me, the, uh, the, the guitar riff on there, uh, uh, John Paris, uh, who's the drummer for Earth, Wind & Fire, uh, played the guitar. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Roman Johnson, uh, who is uh, with Stevie Wonder, uh, played a lot of the other stuff. Okay. And so, again, as these musicians that people don't know, you know, who you're around, uh, I'm just I'm just thankful for it. So it's out. The video is supposed to be coming out this um, either April or May. Uh, and uh, the editing is done or the video is actually being completed by um, MWMN Radio out of uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Prince area. Okay. Yeah. Over with uh, her, main, her name is Miss Ginger Patterson. And uh, she is she is it. I mean, she knows the business. She knows Capitol Records. She knows a lot of other places. And so it was like, um, so I try to get a lot of other people who have records. I tell them, you know, I'll introduce you to her because I don't, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anything. Yeah. You're just trying to make it, you know. Yeah. Now that, that come see about me, you know, with it, with it, you know, with the video in the work, is there going to be an album, you know, to kind of coincide with this coming up soon anytime too as well? Uh, Ginger says she's looking at putting all of the songs that I have. Um, I probably got like 20, 30 songs. Okay. That, uh, but you know, normally what that comes with about 12 songs on a on a on a on a CD or something like that. Yeah, give or take. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, somewhere around here. And uh I just told her just pick the best ones because uh I'm also I do a lot of blues. And uh so I, I do a lot of ZZ. Hill, I do. Yeah. I write. I write blues. Uh, I do. Um, I do blues shows, and uh, I do a, a lot of uh, Bobby Rush, because uh, I love me some Bobby Rush, and, and uh, it's kind of like uh, so. Any musician that I can get a feel for what they're going, what they're saying, and how they are depicting things, yeah, is what I I try to pick with. I want the best. Not only lyrics, but I want the best feel uh, 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 to associate uh, with what you're doing, you know, because they, uh, like Bobby Rush, our language is different because when you're from the South, the further you go South, different words mean different things. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, so it's like, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, hog balls, you know, chow, chow. Yeah. You got like, because you have, you don't live in a particular area. So you don't know what they're talking about until you actually like go down and like eat at one of the places or see something. They got this skeeter, man. Chow, the tried, he tried to get in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Try to steal my glory. <laughs> but, but anyway, it, uh, that, that's what it's all about. I'm hoping that, um, we can get it done. And uh, so I got a few people that are trying to, I'm trying to book myself. And then I have a few other people trying to do uh, do some booking for me. But it's, it's um, uh, everybody's trying to get themselves something. Yeah. And yeah. so hopefully that the people that I've been dealing with, even with the, the Motown uh, organization, when I was dealing with some of the agents that I was dealing with with them, uh, hopefully they'll find me something, and if they don't, you know, I, then I just keep on moving. You know, I just keep on uh, uh, going until I get somebody that 
uh, let me put that out there good for all those that are listening. <laughs> for, for the ones who want to like um, get me jobs or can get me jobs, I'm not a standard guy. I know the average percent is like 10%, they say. But I'm looking at giving you 15 to 20%. And the reason for that is that I already have things going. So zero from zero leaves zero. If you if if I get a job and I'm making five to six grand, I'm giving them my musicians good money. You get money because you got me the job. I don't see a reason why you don't get that. Uh, I know everybody says as a standard, okay, well that's a standard, but you can go beyond that too. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not looking to do the show for free, but I'm I'm trying to tell them I'm not trying to beat you. I'm just telling you that. This is me. Just, just, just deal with me, and understand that. Hey, uh, and if there's a lot of them say, "Man, well, I jump on that." Well, yeah, jump on it because, <laughs> because it's real. Yeah. I'm not gonna fight you over it. Uh, it's, it's. Uh, you get your. That tells me that hey, you want that fifteen percent? You want that sixteen uh, percent? Um, I walk away. My musicians get paid good. I get a little money, I go home, I get shows, I continue to get shows. And if we make uh, big shows, then you you just add that up, man. Add up it that. Wins, yeah. Add, add that 15 to 16% up. Mm -hmm. And you're working with everybody else fighting over 10. I'm telling you, you get 15, mm -hmm. you know, or a little bit better. And if that's not an incentive, I don't know what you need. Right. And they, and they probably said, well, it's something wrong with this brother, you know, something, you know, he's willing to give up that. No, man, I'm just saying that I enjoy the music. Yeah. I enjoy what I do. I, I'm enjoying the blessings that I have and I'm enjoying everything, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm working, uh, working on a, uh, doing a gospel show this year because I've done like four or five gospel shows, probably like, I don't know, maybe eight, nine, ten of them, gospel okay. shows. And because uh, I love my gospel. Yeah. And uh, so it's kind of like that's working on that as well. You know, R&B, uh, rhythm and blues is good. I love my rhythm and blues. But uh, you give me some gospel, man. And I'm, you know, it's just a, it's just two different formats, two different fields. Yeah. yeah. So that's, and if I hope they don't think I'm all over the place, but I'm just trying to express to them, the ones who are listening, that this is, this is a, these are the gifts. These these are these are blessing. I'm just trying to express to you what I what I what I am, who I am, and trying to be uh, totally honest with you, the public, the the people that are out there. And that's no other way for me to be, because uh, in the long run, if you think you're going to beat me, you know you beat yourself because you're throwing all that money away when you could be making it. You know that's that's the way I look at it. You know. So um, I don't know, little bro. You, like I said, I'm gonna keep on giving you all these accolades, man, because you taking time out to talk to me, man. Yeah, oh, it's all good. It's all good, and and and, and one of your uh, many talents too, man. Also, uh, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, also an actor. You just did a uh, film. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kill a stepfather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so this is is this your first film? That was my. It was, it's, it's not my first acting job. Okay, right, right. I mean, uh, that was my first, uh, actually, movie film, yes. Movie film, for, right, for, okay. Yeah, for Lifetime. Okay, yeah. And, uh, yeah, a lady came to uh, my church. I was singing one Sunday, and they just happened to visit my church. And uh, they came up to me. As a matter of fact, her husband came up to me afterwards and said, hey, I need to talk to you, or at least my wife needs to talk to you. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, okay. And he said, well, she's a talent agent, you know, and I said, yeah, yeah okay, well, you know, I hear that all the time. <laughs> you know, so good. And uh, she said, uh, she did, she met with me, and she says, why don't you just send me some stuff and let me look at it. And uh, I sent her some clips and some pictures and some video. And uh, she called me up and said, hey, uh, we need to seriously talk here. She said, you you got talents that just need to be like 
You know, she said, we just need to take it, like mold you. And so they sent me uh -huh. down. Yeah, they sent me down to this uh, for an interview. And uh, probably like, I would say within two days of that, uh, uh, John, they they called me up and said, hey, we, uh, we want to see you again. We need to talk to you. And I went back down and the lead, the lead actor, the young lady that was there, uh, her name is Alice Camacho. Uh, she says, uh, you got that natural ability. You didn't come in, you didn't argue, you didn't act nasty, you did, you wasn't, she said, and you laughed the whole time. But she said, you had that serious side. And she said, we want you to do this part. And I did it. And uh, because it was so fast, I, I was struggling with the words. But uh, believe it or not, she, she came upstairs and she sat down with me. She said, listen, this word is saying this. This word is saying that. She says, so you just got to like follow the lines. And then she said, you, you see the, 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 the way it's going. And man, it was like, boom. And then they came up, the director of them came up and said, hey, are we ready to shoot? She said, yes. And I went down there and boom, we shot it. <laughs> and she said, I told you, you were so sweet, so natural. And she said, so I'm looking forward to doing more movies with you. She said, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Awesome. And she, she had stayed in touch. Uh, she's been to, she came to a lot of the, uh, uh, the Motown shows yeah. and everything like that, along with, uh, you know, other people. And wow. yeah, just supported it all the way, you know. And I told her that I would support her or anybody else, wherever they go, whatever they're doing, I will support, you know, because I just think that's the way it should be. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I'm 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 hoping that once they see this between you and I, that this just blows up. Yeah, like, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I uh, I've been blessed. I had uh, two records at number one. Mm -hmm. uh, yes to your will is a gospel song. Uh, it was number one. It ran uh, number one for about three weeks. You know, uh, I don't know how you know how long they really run, but I was just blessed that it got to number one. You know, and uh, see about me was number two. It's still at number setting at number three. I think it is right about there. Yeah, gotta love that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I have uh, uh, loving you. Uh, which is uh, like uh, kind of like an upbeat thing, but it, loving you is is um, just telling the women that they are the pillars of this universe, and they are, and uh, they all just need to know that because they uh, they're just the they are just the pillars because there's nobody else in this universe, nobody that's made like a woman, nobody. Right. And I'm, I just wrote to tell them that, you know what, uh, despite all of the hardships, despite everything else, you've always found a way. You found a way to raise us. You found a way to feed us. You found a way to work when, there, when, when things, when you was by yourself, you found a way you always found a way. And that, that they they just need to know that that I, you know, you can have attitudes, you can have all of the other changes. Yes, uh, we all do. But but um that's just the way I write is like making them understand, you know what? Uh, you 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 are just something special, yeah. and and I'm going to remain with that. And doesn't mean that all of us are going to get along, but but to take that away from you, that's not going to happen. You know, that's not going to happen. Yeah, that's what that's what's missing in a lot of music uh, right now, especially that what you're saying right there. That that's that's missing. It, yeah, it's soul, R and B, well, you know, in in a, in a lot of genres, it's missing. It's it's missing because they they I don't know what happened to them. Why the disrespect? 
uh, it's kind of like, um, but I'm going to remain with writing as such. Yeah. And, uh, and then when I do my shows, I know that the ones who come will appreciate what I'm saying, you know, and uh, look, bro, when I do, uh, if you don't know me by now, I worked at some, bro. <laughs> I work, I work at, even though I do mine, it, the, the old, the old school songs, you know, let's stay together, you know, love and happiness. It's like, because all of the stuff relates to life, to life. Yep. And, uh, uh, but they, this new stuff, man, I, I, I'm not downing them. I'm just telling them that, you know, I'm, it's just not for me. Yeah. You know? uh, it's just not, I, I want the ladies to come to my concert and be appreciative and then be respected mm. and then like talk to them for something that they know to be true because we all have our difficulties. We really do. And nobody needs to be calling you no B's and D's and E's. They don't need to be doing that. Yeah. But, uh, that's where we are. That's where this new gen, uh, new attitude or whatever they want to call it, you know, and uh, nah, nah, not, not me. <laughs> I, prob I probably won't get nobody to pick me up after this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you did a lot of people feel the same way, so you are not alone. Like you know, the the authenticity and, and soul uh, is just missing. So you know, artists, you know, like yourself, you know, we keep striving to 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 bring some of that authenticity back into you know R and B and soul, funk music, you know, all the yeah. music that raised us. You know, even country. Yeah. Music, you know, I, I see Beyonce. You know, she's tapping into the country thing. You know, and yeah. people kind of giving her a little bit of slack. You know, slack for that, but. You know, people go back to the forties and fifties. You'll see a lot of black folks playing country. You know, we can talk about Dobie Gray or Charlie Pride. I mean, we can talk. We can go. That's a whole other subject. But I'm just that's, saying, no, you know, we, this ain't new to us. <laughs> that's, that's the whole thing, yeah. and uh, it's it's kind of like, a, and that, and I think um, I'm very appreciative when you when we talk about stuff like that, thinking about how they survive the fields every day. Mm -hmm. Um, that must have been something to be able to even come up with the the harmony and the singing and and, 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 and yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it was like all day long yeah. doing that. And, and 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 look, bro, this kid here, I ain't quite so sure. No, I know, I know for sure, I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. I would have been Kute Kante. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I, I feel you. <laughs> would like been long gone, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I ain't taking that too much. Go so check out Frank Graves. He's got material all over Spotify, iTunes, all over streaming platforms. And uh, and Frank, uh, if you don't mind, let my people know where they can find you. If you have your social handles, Instagram, Facebook, where they can find your uh, music or bio and so forth. Yeah, they can they can look at me at uh, uh, Frank Graves. FrankGraysMusic.com, or oh. they can go out there to look at uh, the artists, the artists, or just artists, Frank Graves, or they can go to Facebook, and uh, probably those three, right off the bat, they can probably look at it and uh, you know hit me up and uh, and uh, see it, see who I'm with, or see who on stage with me, or see who I'm on stage with. I, Again, man, thank you, bro. I'm, I'm gonna oh, keep thank on you. I'm gonna keep on thanking you until you sign off. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. We appreciate it. Multi-talented singer, songwriter, performer, bass player, actor. It, there's nothing he can't do. We welcome you. Thank you so much for stopping through artist yeah. Frank Gray, stopping through Digital Soul Presents. Thank you so much, my brother. We appreciate it. Thank you, young man.